of for sale now vehicle max of a beautiful 2010 GMC Yukon Denali short wheel base all wheel drive short wheel base just means that it's not the XL it's not the long one black raven on the outside or onyx black they might call it with tan leather interior completely loaded up with factory navigation factory color backup camera factory power moonroof factory DVD player power ta power tailgate heated seats, cool seats, 20 inch chrome wheels with matching Bridgestone tires that are nearly brand new all around. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website vehiclemax.net. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and has sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. I'm gonna finish going around so you can see that the vehicle has no dings, no dents, no, uh, no major scratches or touches of any kind. Then we'll get inside and we'll um, show you all the interior options. I've got the vehicle running just so I can show you the DVD player. Has HID lights in the front, fog lights, four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, anti lock brakes, privacy tinted glass, power tumbling middle row buckets, which I'll show you in just a second. And this is what I wanted to show you. I got the uh, factory DVD playing a movie right now. Okay, we'll come to the middle row section in the back in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get started off with the front. All right, the front door panels are two-tone, tan with a brown stone in the top, with the wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel, power mirrors, power folding mirrors, heated seats for uh, with memory for up to two drivers, cool seats, and heated seats like I was telling you a little bit ago. Automatic headlights that come on at sunset and come off at sunrise. Power tilt wheel. We got dual. Power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. We also got curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags. The leather is solid on the outside and perforated in the center for the heating and cooling. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and this note is smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non smoker. All right. Go ahead and get in here. Let's start off by putting on the air conditioning. And uh, by the way, we got dual climate control, as you can see. We can make the passenger side of the vehicle blow at um, 70 degrees while we get the driver's side at 60. But because it's very hot out there, let's put them both at 60. If you don't mind, let me put these vents facing me before we get going with the video. Okay, let's start off with the moonroof, that way we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has this hard cover here that blocks out the sun completely. All right, and it's a one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open. Okay, it does also have a uh, power tailgate. And I'll demonstrate that over my shoulder here. You can open the power tailgate from the uh, switch I just showed you on the overhead console, from the remote control, or from the tailgate handle by simply squeezing it as long as the car is unlocked. Go ahead and close it now. Right, this vehicle also has remote start, which comes in real handy, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot like it is now. As long as you had the air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle when the car comes on, so will the AC and it'll cool down the car for you. In the winter, it does the opposite. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater, and when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. Okay, so there's your navigation. Uh, I can also play this, uh, make this uh, play DVDs, I believe, so let me make sure. There you go. Uh, right now, the, the front screen is playing the same movie that we're watching in the rear screen. I don't know if that was too close because I'm sitting up in the front. But uh, this can only be done while the car is in park. Once you take the car to park, you will not be able to watch the movie in the front DVD player. I think they do sell a gadget on eBay that tricks the car into thinking it's on park, so you could uh, watch a movie while you're driving here. 
I don't really recommend that, but just to let you know that that may be an option. Um, okay, uh, we go, go back to navigation by squeezing navigation here. And uh, if we put the car in reverse, move the handle down. And there's your color backup camera, which along with the parking sensors, it should help you avoid any action, accidents when you're backing up. Okay, um, let's see here. I got tons of stuff to show you. Let's start off with the uh, heated and cool seat option here. All right, uh, you notice this light is going to turn blue just to indicate cool. And these three lights light up. That just means that you're high. If you press it again, medium. If you press it again, low. If you press it again, off. And these have the same uh, action. This one heats only the backrest, and this one the entire seat. And it's just going to light up in red instead to let you know it's warm. So there's high, medium, low, and off. And in the meantime, because it's very hot, I'm going to go ahead and put the high cool while I'm doing the video with you guys. Okay, the car has 66,198 miles. Okay, and uh, to the right hand side of the odometer reading, it's the outside temperature. And also, a compass is lets us know that we're pointing and heading in the east direction. All right, um, the front windows are one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. They have turn signals. And they are power folding. Okay, um, I don't know if I told you before, automatic headlights, yes I did tell you, automatic headlights will come on a sunset and come off at sunrise. Uh, this vehicle has a towing haul mode at the end of the shifter call lever here, you press here, you can see a little yellow wagon comes on your uh, instrument cluster here. That's just to let you know that you're in uh, towing haul mode which makes the transmission shift a little differently in, uh, in order to adjust for the extra cargo load and disables the overdrive. When you're done towing, press it again and that little wagon goes away meaning you're back into an over operation also you got these switches here this is for your uh, manual uh, shifting option and let me show you what that looks like we're going to concentrate on this uh, here reverse neutral drive and that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time but if you want to make it shift manually go down one more nut to the M and you'll see a one comes next to it that means you're in first gear if you want to tap if you tap on the plus in the shifter I showed you it's going to shift up all the way up to six as this is a six-speed automatic transmission okay if you tap on the minus it'll go down of course nothing's happening because we're not moving but every time you tap it once it downshifts or shifts up that doesn't interest you just push the lever up to D and the six-speed automatic transmission will do the shifting for you all right let's put it back in park all right, um, in the center here, you got uh, your cigarette lighter adapters, okay? They pop off so you can connect your cigarette lighter or your charges there. Power adjustable pedals. This feature allows you to move the pedals about four or five inches from and towards you, which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. Parking sensors. Um, this is to disable your parking sensors. And you say, well, why would I want to do that? Well, if you're... Uh, if you're towing a boat or a trailer, when you put the car in reverse, because of the proximity of the boat or trailer, it's going to be beeping the whole time. It gets kind of annoying, so you want to disable it temporarily while you're backing down. Once you take it out of reverse, it will actually enable itself. This is to disable the traction control. Uh, you got this little storage here, not even a cigarette, not even an ashtray, and this pops open into a cup holder here. In the center console here, where you rest your elbow, you got like a little tray here, so if you're not opening, you can set your phone down there. And it won't slide out unless you lift this. If you're going to lift this, then you're going to want to remove it from there. All right, so we squeeze here, and it reveals uh, our um, storage down here, which here's your owner's manual with its casing. And we got one set of headphones only on this one here. And uh, we got a USB port and another cigarette lighter adapter. We'll get you the other head headset. That's not a problem. All right. Your main glove box, it's over here, and you got also, I think that's your OnStar booklet and uh, a couple other things, maybe about the tires and so on. Uh, okay, uh, and we, let's go ahead and listen to some music. Okay, and press audio, now we're going to change it to XM. I believe the XM is on preview mode now. Yes, it is, meaning you have to call that number or go to that website, go to the website and sign up for the subscription, but we can listen to FM. As you can see, it's a touch screen. 
and let's find a muse, let's find something here, let's find that, and we'll scroll up to the next one here. And uh, this is kind of a quiet station, so let's, uh, by the way, you can raise the volume right here and lower it here. Okay, maybe we can uh, find a station with music here. There we go. Both stereo sound system. So you can raise it here, lower here where I'm tapping. You have also a uh, mute button here in the center. These buttons here are to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you say here yourself, of course, which that you say here yourself, of which of course can be changed. Um, seek button takes you to the next available station. The source button takes you from AM to FM to XM to DVD mode, you know, by just tapping here, or you can do it on the source button over there. And also to auxiliary, which is your iPod port up here. Um, once you pair your phone, um, once you pair your phone, when the phone rings, you answer here. When you're ready to done talking, just press here. Um, it does have a heated steering wheel option as well. And these are your cruise control buttons over here. Um, let's see what else. Okay, uh, okay, we got a leather wrap steering wheel with wood trimming, and I'll pan around the next as well, so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. No cracks, no stitching coming apart, no color missing. Just in really nice shape. Alright, this vehicle is equipped with the with OnStar capability. Uh, the OnStar uh, system is a monitor system that has a monthly fee. By the way, before I get into that, you also got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up there that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror. Right, if you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90 day free trial with a OnStar at no cost to you. Let me tell you what the most important thing about OnStar. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. Also, if you uh, have any kind of emergency, press the red button. The OnStar Center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you are, are lost in any directions, you can press the blue OnStar button. The OnStar Center will come on and, um, and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If your check engine light comes on, they can diagnose it remotely and tell you how to take care of the problem. They also have concierge service, roadside assistance, and a number of other options. For more details, visit OnStar.com. Okay, up in the top here, you get your uh, home link or universal garage door opener, where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. You got map lights. Okay. You also got uh, vanity mirrors with lighting on both sides, of course. Let's pan over the dashboard now so you can see it's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no cracks. Uh, just a little. There we go. Took care of it. Okay. Um, just in perfect shape. It's not lifting up anywhere or anything like that. Just have to, had a little dusty that was stuck in. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, let's see here. I think we are ready to move on to the back. So let's do that. Let's turn off the vehicle. And let's move to the uh, mid row section of the car or vehicle. Uh, you got a bottle holder here also on the side from both front doors. The rear door panels are the same as in the front, tan with a brown stone at the top. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that goes. You stick your key in here, give it a half a twist to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just do the opposite, give it a half a twist to the right. And this handle, oops, sorry, this handle will start working again. Okay, um, in the back of the center console, the mid-row passengers, by the way, the mid-row bucket seats are all heated, also, just like in the front. And then the mid-row passengers can control the fan speed for the rear AC, where it flows, the temperature, they can control the volume for the stereo, the tuning, 
They can turn on and off the stereo. They can seek forward, seek backwards. Programming mean is going to to um, to your net, your next preset station. The source button moving you from AM to FM to XM to DVD. There's also uh, inputs for headphone jacks. There is a uh, cigarette lighter adapter here for power, and there's a video input. So if you can power through here, you can watch it on your roof-mounted DVD unit. You also can open this up for. Um, cup holders. To gain access to the rear, the little ones usually just walk in between. By the way, I don't want you to think you're seeing stains or anything. We're shooting this video indoors and the shadows and stuff here, so you might see like a darker areas than other. It's just because of the uh, of shooting a video indoors. Okay, so to gain access to the rear, the little ones usually just walk in between, but you have uh, this power. Oh, before I do that, it's so many options in this car. Okay, um, you get anchors for your baby car seat. There are two on each side, so you can tie down your baby uh, baby car seat over there. Okay, so you have the power tumbling option, and that goes like this: is a switch here, you squeeze it. There's one on each side. Let me back out of the way. Okay, it gives you nice and easy access to the third row. Uh, again, this is a seven-passenger vehicle: two in the front, two in the middle, and three in the back. And they all have an over-the-shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger. Makes it a total of seven. Got a couple of cup holders here and a tray back there and a tray on the passenger side. There are, let me put, by the way, to put this back down is very simple. This has to be done manually. It does not go down by itself. Push it down, lift it up here, and you're back into passenger mode. And both sides have the same action. Okay, you got a set of AC vents here in the center for the mid row passengers, one on each side. And then you got another set of AC vents back here for the rear row passengers as well as map lights. The middle row passengers, their map lights are actually integrated onto the DVD. You just push on that and it's gonna light up. All right, um, let's move on to the back. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Uh, this vehicle is flex fuel capable, meaning, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents less per gallon. But it doesn't mean you have to. You can put uh, regular unleaded or premium unleaded. These are the parking sensors I was telling you about. There are two on each side of the bumper. Those are the ones that beep when you're approaching another vehicle or object. Class 4 heavy duty tone package with the electrical connection. They're ready to go right here. This is the camera that we were looking out of before. Rear wiper. Rear window defroster. The little orange lines that, um, uh, that defog your rear glass. Now as long as the car's unlocked, you can simply squeeze in the tailgate handle for the uh, tailgate to open. All right. In the third row, we have a 50-50 bench. This bench, um, uh, two independent seats. Uh, that one you can. You know, there's several actions you can do with this uh, third row seat. For example, you can pull up in this handles here, and uh, the back seat will flip. For, the backrest will flip forward. And you can put stuff on top of it. If you want to lift it up, you can pull up in this handle, and then on this second handle here, and then the back the backrest will go forward, and then the seat will lift from the back to the front and get prompted up right up to the back of the center row seats. To remove the seat, simply just um, pull up in this handle, the backrest will go forward, okay, and then you just pull hard on this handle and the seat will come right out, okay. And the cool thing is if you have something large to put on this side and you want to still use the seating capability on this side, you can do one side and not the other, you can remove one side and not the other, or you can do them both at the same time. You got another cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers. And uh, now we're pretty much done back here to close the tailgate, you can do it from the button here or from the switch in the overhead console like I showed you earlier or from the remote control. Let's come around to the passenger side. Chrome door handles, heavy duty running boards with chrome trimming, right rear door panel same way, perfect shape. Of course we got the child lock protection on this side. I'm sure by now you notice none of the panels have any cuts, tears, burn holes, cracks, none of the speaker covers are cracked. Just a really really nice shape. Pan over the passenger seating area again. Like I said, you can also have the, uh, the switch here to make the seat uh, tumble down. Let me give you another look at the headliner from a different angle so you can see it's in perfect shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, not sagging anywhere, no stains. Let's move on to the passenger front. And after that, we'll conclude the video. Right front door panel, perfect shape. Not only do you have a power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support on the driver's side, but as you can see also on the passenger side. The vehicle's in really nice shape. No orders whatsoever, and completely loaded up. And all-wheel drive. So if you want a boat, 
tow a boat or a trailer or you live up north and you need the traction for the uh, for the snow or the mountains or whatever this is the car for you all right um, before we conclude the video I want to talk to you about financing if you require financing let me tell you we have excellent rates for good credit we also have special financing for not just good credit we even got some programs for really rough credit if you're concerned about the financing you live a long distance away or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over just go to the website vehiclemax.net right on the home page you see a silver tab that says apply for credit click it fill it out completely click submit at the bottom of the page and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved that's going to do it for the video in this unit i want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net